For today's topic, we will focus on the problem that nearly every man has to deal with, the occasional sore on the penis. Nothing can strike fear in the hearts of man like seeing a red, itchy, scaly, or weeping sore on their favorite appendage. And for many, the mind immediately fast-forwards to a wild night with a potentially risky partner. And of course, some sores can be of the STI sort, but many can also be just the result of lifestyle or something easy to remedy in the body. Sores can take many forms, from raised sores filled with pus to painful bumps or rashes. No matter the type, they need to be taken care of properly. And choosing the right approach to care means first identifying the cause. Let's start with five non-STI causes of penis sores. Friction burn. Rubbing the member too much or too aggressively or wearing tight clothing can result in excessive friction, which can in turn result in chafed, distressed skin. Leave your hipster days behind you. Seriously, it's time and ditch your too tight briefs, shorts, and pants. And be sure to use a lube for both solo and partner activities. Folliculitis. This condition is kind of like a leveled up ingrown hair. Folliculitis in the genital area is when infected hair follicles create pus-filled sores around the hair shaft. They often get red and angry before they clear themselves up. Some men opt to use razor burn serums to quicken the healing process. Pro tip, the serums will burn at first, but then sweet relief will soon set in. Psoriasis. Men who have psoriasis, scaly raised patches that resemble sores on other parts of their bodies, may also develop it on their penis. See your doc for details on how to handle this extra sensitive area. Some men swear by topical vitamin E. Allergic reactions. Sometimes sores can erupt after trying that new detergent you found on sale or the new body wash that claims it makes women go wild. To clear things up, clean the penis gently with a soft, clean, damp cloth and follow up with a specially formulated cream for the penis. Pop a Benadryl for extra antihistamine power. Candida. Yep, a yeast infection. I know. Guys, you thought they were just for the ladies, but we all have yeast in our bodies. When there's too much, when the body's chemical balance is disrupted, the yeast can overgrow, causing itching, redness, swelling, a chunky white discharge, and white sores on the penis. Usually, treatment involves topical antifungal creams. It's transmittable, so avoid sex and let current sexual partners know so they can be on the lookout. Okay, so we walked you through the more harmless penis sore causes. Now it's time to deal with the STI-related causes. If you think you have an STI, refrain from sex and see a doctor immediately. If you find that you do indeed have an STI, follow your doctor's treatment plan and tell past partners so they can seek treatment as well. Genital warts. Warts, which often look like sores, will show up on the glands, the foreskin, shaft, and entire pubic area. They may also itch like no tomorrow. Lymphogranuloma venarium LGV. More than a mouthful, this somewhat new STI starts as an ulcer that shows three to ten days after infection in the first stage. Then, like last week's Tinder date, it can ghost out and go unnoticed until stage two begins, where the lymph nodes in the groin start to swell. Cankeroid. The name of this STI just looks like it hurts, and it really does. Treatment usually includes drainage and a round or two of medication to clear up the infection. Herpes. The herpes simplex virus, HSV, is one of the most common causes of penis sores. So, no doubt it might be the first thing that pops into mind when you see a lesion. Herpes causes watery sores which eventually burst and crust over, leading to itching and redness. 
Those with HSV will require lifetime treatment to control outbreaks, as there is currently no cure. Syphilis. If you see a sore and have symptoms such as fever, skin rash, swollen lymph glands, and hair loss, get to a doc fast because you may have syphilis. If caught in the early stages, it can be treated. If left untreated, this disease can lead to blindness, loss of cognition, and even death. Now that we've told you what can cause penis sores, here are a few common sense tips to help you avoid them altogether. First, when it comes to sex, talk about it. Be open with potential intimate partners about sexual health before having sex, preferably before the heat of the moment when things may be a little intense and hurried. This creates a safe space to talk about any existing issues, past experiences that weren't so great, or trade the dates that each person was tested for STIs and what the results were. The next step, which you should already be doing, have good hygiene habits. Wash it, dry it, moisturize it, and give it free time, a.k.a. out of underwear time to relax and catch some fresh air. Finally, see a doctor regularly for exams and to check anything that looks a little abnormal. Thanks for watching. See you next time.